Ripple, XRP's parent company, has won yet another court battle in its long-running battle. With the help of US financial officials, the coin's price has been stabilized. XRP has had a year-over-year -year increase. Return on investment of over 211%, but the real question is whether they will prevail or the SEC will overturn the case as a whole. What happened during the hearing, and what is Hinman's case? Hiding. Stay tuned for further information on the case. Let's make the millionaire mindset a reality. By pressing the button, you can join the commune. That like button, as well as that subscribe button. Keep an eye on the screen because we have an unusual tidbit regarding XRP that you might find interesting. Not be conscious of. The legal concern during the hearing was whether the judge would permit former SEC director. Rupture will depose Hinman. According to the relevant statute, high-ranking authorities. Unless there is a strong basis to do so, they may not be deposed. Former President Barack Obama, as you may recall. In a speech in 2018, SEC Director Hinman claimed that Ether was not a security. In his opinion, and we learned that he had also discussed a partnership with the Ethereum Foundation. Week prior to the lecture, as well as various crypto exchanges regarding his thoughts on whether Ether is a good investment, was the issue of safety. So, why does this matter? Ripple has invoked the minimal notice defense, which evaluates whether Ripple had reasonable notice of the lawsuit. The fact that its XRP token might be classified as a security, as well as the fact that we heard from it, should be noted. As we listened, the first item that attracted our attention was Ms. Stewart, a rookie SEC attorney. To the public hearing we felt she got off to a good start, but what was more intriguing was what happened next. Attorney Tenrero had not contacted us in a long time. This might imply that the the SEC's chief counsel has changed. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Over the following two weeks, you'll be able to get your hands on it. In any case, we think Ms. Stewart did a fantastic job laying out the SEC's case. In every case where the SEC is involved, you can have high-ranking Secret Service officials deposed. Otherwise, the official's retirement years would be filled with daily depositions. Ms. Stewart was fantastic until the judge threw her a curveball with her first question. A question that appeared out of nowhere and became the focus of the hearing in addition, though. The question was this, Mr. Hinman said in his affidavit supporting the motion that the speech. It was just his personal perspective. The speech was meant to be a reflection of my own personal experiences. In paragraph 13 of his declaration, Hinman expresses his beliefs. As a result, the judge was perplexed as to how a high-ranking official's protected privilege might apply to utterances. That he exclusively expressed in his own opinion that question made us sit up and pay attention. We hadn't expected it, and neither had the SEC attorney. Now that this issue has been resolved, we reasoned that the court might wish to hear the case because it had been properly documented in the publication. Ripple elaborated on what they hoped to learn from Hinman that wasn't already in his book. Address. We thought she needed more from Ripple. That was not the case, though. The. Judge Netburn is well aware that her choices set a precedent and will be followed by others. In the future, it will be cited and relied upon. She's also aware, as any competent judge should be, that she must maintain a clean record of why she made the choices she did, not just for that purpose, but also in the event that a judgment is rendered, is flipped upside down on the topic of personal versus official viewpoints, there was case authority. As a result, the SEC committed a critical error. Furthermore, the Secret Service had forgotten to include. It was mentioned in their briefings. Some judges won't even let you talk about a case if it hasn't been decided yet. A document has been filed nonetheless, Judge Netburn argued in his letter. We investigated the Nashio's case situation, and it's basically a case where the SEC gained a little but suffered a lot of damage. Because, despite the official's victory in the Nachos case on the privilege issue, 
he was allowed to be deposed first by the court. After that, the parties went back to court to discuss. After all, Rebel wants to use privileged arguments, which is essentially what he wants to do in this case. The questions were addressed, and the concerns were voiced. This is referred to as a judge's hearing. Because we believe the judge already had her mind made up about what she was going to do. She, on the other hand, desired to keep a record for both presidential instances and appellate purposes. She wanted to make it apparent that the speech was outstanding, and that Hinman had articulated his case clearly. Ether was not a security, in my opinion, and the exceptional character of the statement. She would allow the deposition to go through for this reason. As a result, when it became apparent that she asked the parties if they were moving before allowing the deposition to start. Because it was already set on the 19th, it was moved forward on Monday, and Ripple reacted. Yes, and the SEC's lawyer stated she didn't think they needed further time to assess the situation. That's it. A deposition was set, and the court said she would allow it to go forward. However, the SEC will assess, which can only mean one thing, in the absence of an agreement between the parties, the SEC will assess. The parties, the SEC intends to appeal the decision allowing the deposition to proceed, or at the at least, the SEC intends to challenge the decision allowing the deposition to proceed. At the very least to consider doing so, and you have no idea how uncommon an interlocutory order is. It's an appeal. To begin with, meeting the conditions is practically impossible, allowing the deposition to take place. To be demonstrably erroneous the judge in charge of the district court is the one who would make it abundantly clear. Erroneous conclusion Judge Torres, who was collaborating with Judge Netburn on this case, and was probably well aware of Judge Netburg's intentions in this case. While we aren't conspiracy theorists by nature, the fact that the SEC is looking into it gives us pause. We believe the SEC is attempting to avoid advancing by appealing this decision. We're not like that. I'm not sure why they're in such a hurry. There is, however, an issue with it. But there's a catch. While it's unlikely that Ripple knows exactly what the SEC is hiding, it's plausible that it does. Yes, they do. But after today, we're not so sure, and the bad news is that Judge Netburn is still on the job. Ripple's ability to inquire about things will be severely constrained. She was really direct when she was in close proximity to me. We believed she was getting annoyed with everyone near the end of the hearing. That the speech is what distinguishes the case. Perhaps there's something to the events that lead up to the speech we're debating. Here's something that needs to be dug up, and the question is whether Ripple will be able to do it. So, right present, we don't have a solution. We do know, though, that the conflict is far from over. This matter will be presented before Judge Netburn once more. Everyone is aware that there is a. We promise you that there is far too much writing on it. Let's take a peek at the chart to see how XRP is performing on July 16th, shall we? We? Until July 7th, XRP had been stabilizing above $0.650, but the dip on July 8th dispersed the gains. For the International Settlements coin, the level shifted from support to resistance. The $0.650 is a small amount. The strength of the level can be attributed to a low of $0.652 on May 23rd and a series of highs. Between January 2021 and December 2020 the inability of the XRP price to recover $0.650. Price behavior has been driven by a trading range since the 1970s, according to recent evidence. The end of June is being pushed back. The 200-day SMA is at $0.747, and the 78.6-day SMA is at $0.747. The 2021 surges percent retracement is at $0.555. The Ripple 14-day average true range, ATR, has shrunk dramatically since April. A bullish event stemming from the levels that preceded the persistent ascent to $1.96. Given the XRP price action's tightness in fact, at current levels, ATR readings have regularly 
price thrusts of varying degrees were forecast. Of course, the decrease in volatility could endure for a while. For weeks, but it should at the very least encourage Ripple investors to see the value. With recent price movements if there is no movement in the price of XRP, it will remain locked between 1 cent and 2 cents. $0.747 and $0.555, respectively. As a result, speculators are advised to postpone risky investments. Until you get confirmation, don't make any decisions. Finally, Ripple is approaching the daily chart. As the 50-day SMA approaches the 200-day SMA, a bearish death cross is forming, placing more pressure on the market. The price of XRP is under pressure. It's now time to look at the reality of the situation. A common misconception is that all cryptocurrencies are designed to be used as payment mechanisms. Among those who are fresh to the Bitcoin world. It will be difficult if this is the case. To argue that we need more than Bitcoin, and most likely a few more cryptocurrencies. Ripple, like many other cryptocurrencies, was never intended to be used as a payment currency. To put it another way, it's doubtful that your favorite retailer will accept XRP tokens very soon. Ripple Labs is pleased with the result. Ripple, on the other hand, is a cryptocurrency that was created as a means of payment transfer. Its purpose is to transmit money from point A to point B more quickly than traditional techniques. Such as wire transfers how does it intend to do this? Because it is both quicker and less costly. Compared to the alternatives. Do you believe XRP will prevail in the court case? Please keep in mind that cryptocurrency prices fluctuate often, so by the time you watch, they may have changed. This video could have taken on a whole new meaning. The data presented in this report is accurate. This video does not constitute investing, financial, trading, or other types of advice. You should not consider any of the content to be advice of any kind. This article's content. The video is primarily for educational reasons and should not be regarded as a financial investment. Advice. Before making a purchase, make sure you do your homework and consult with a financial counselor any kind of investment choice. If you want to learn more about XRP, we've prepared two more videos for you. To check out, go to the last screen. Please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you in the future video, my buddy.